Hello everyone, uh, Mark Hanchett here, CEO and founder of Atlas Motor Vehicles, and today we're gonna talk about towing. Uh, so we make a lot of claims in terms of what this vehicle will be capable of doing when we start to sell and market the vehicle. One of those big things is 35,000 pounds towing capa uh, capability. Now, uh, that's a really big number. And the reason we target that number is because our target market is really after those big diesel uh, pickup trucks, high capability, right? That's used in a very work-centric environment. You're not necessarily towing the boat that weighs 35,000 pounds to the lake on the weekend. You're towing something that's pretty substantial at that point. And we want to provide a solution that does that. Now, how do we do that? How do we make those claims? Well, it starts in the very beginning with just some high-level math. We start looking at trailers, uh, how much rolling resistance is there? How heavy are they? Where are they attached? How much drag is involved there? Then we look at the vehicle. How much drag is the vehicle uh, incorporating? How, what are the losses there? The rolling resistance losses, different tire uh, types and things like that. What's bearing losses, heat losses and stuff like that. We take all of that into account. Uh, then we take into account some crazy things like driving up a road at an 8% grade and what's, what, how much energy is required to be able to do that? How much power do we need? How far do we want to go? All of that stuff is taken into account and we kind of, for lack of a better term, we, we sort of adjust some levers, right? We move some things around with some targets in mind until we come to a conclusion we can do this. Now then it comes into, then we have to actually prove it, right? And, and what are some things that we're doing to facilitate that capability? Well, first of all, uh, both in the front, or sorry, the rear and the front of the vehicle, uh, the first big problem is gonna be the suspension, right? And some of the vehicle dynamics characteristics. It has to be able to handle those loads. So we start talking about things like tongue weight for a gooseneck or fifth wheel hitch that's gonna sit in a bed uh, or maybe on a flatbed we have to make sure that that drive system, that, that sub-module, that axle, can carry at least 10,000 pounds. So that's a big target for us right now, is each one of these drive modules will be able to carry 10,000 pounds on each axle. That's a big one. Second one, of course, is the motors, controllers, and, and those systems, both front and rear. We need to make sure that we can distribute torque uh, appropriately within the vehicle to be able to tow that, as well as stop with regenerative braking. We are, of course, uh, looking at the brake systems. Now, uh, we have to be able to stop the vehicle in a certain required distance without regenerative braking, which means we're selecting brake systems and we're working with companies like Willwood to be able to accomplish that, where we select brake systems and components and solutions that can stop a vehicle in an appropriate amount of time at those loads. Combine that rege with regenerative braking and then performance just simply goes up and it goes up quite a bit at that point. Now, the last sort of bit of that, of course, uh, outside of like the motors, gearboxes, and making sure we have enough torque, that part's actually fairly easy, um, is the battery pack. So when we uh, design this whole system, one of those little knobs we're sort of moving up and down is the battery pack. And we're comparing that against capacity of the pack, weight of the pack, how does that impact our range? Where's that trade-off? Where's that convergence of all of these different points to be able to say, we can do that in a certain amount of time. So our largest battery pack that's in there currently is, uh, or in the design currently that we're developing is uh, 250 usable kilowatt hours for that particular pack. That will deliver a certain amount of range for us at 35,000 pounds. And of course that range goes up as that weight goes down. Uh, but more importantly, that also ensures that we get enough power out of it and we can do this so consistently. So if you're climbing an 8% grade for 10 minutes, we can ensure that that performance is, is consistent as you're going up that, the vehicle's not struggling to do so. But then when you're coming back down that hill, we wanna make sure that you can get as much energy back and pump that back into the battery pack as possible. And some of the stuff we're doing with like tabless cells, heating and cooling, everything else that's going in there, a lot of that stuff ensures that we can use regenerative braking and not friction brakes while we're going down a hill. But of course, like I said before, we've got the brakes to be able to handle that regardless. So, and that's what we do for uh, 35,000 pound towing. That's, that's how we sort of have confidence in that. And that's what we're doing to accomplish it.